I've heard this story before, but it was a pretty good story. So let's hear it again. Oh, seven Vesper. Let's go. I was known to be like kind of like a rowdy guy in my youth. Actually, kind of similar to Axel. Like not not that dissimilar, right? So I will preface really? by saying that I do not like Axel. Remember and him. this is why I'm rewatching it because when he said like Axel, I'm like Axel. Who? This was a long time ago when I saw this video. Stab. So that's crazy. He was like Axel. Because in my defense, I was very very drunk. I was extremely drunk, and this was during my college years, right? when I was at the academy. So I guess we'll start, we'll start from like where my memory like takes place, right? I had a hangover. Okay. I woke up from being very, very drunk. I remember I went to the bar and then I got like, I blacked out because I don't remember coming back home and going to sleep, right? And I had like a really, really bad hangover. And then I woke up, right? And you know, like when you- When you guys black out, do y'all have a dream or do you literally just like, and then you just wake up a hangover like your entire body hurts do you guys do that too like my body is like like achy i don't know if that happens to you guys but it happens to me but like i have a general like full body pain like after a hangover and i was like uh uh hangover and then i got up i drank two glasses of water and then i i went to the bathroom and then i came back to my bed to like knock out again right and there was like not a big one actually like there was like a blood stain on my bed sheet there's like a blood stain there right <laughs> and this is the bro i love how he laughs part. about it my immediate the funny thought part. wasn't did i get stabbed <laughs> my immediate thought was not did i get stabbed my immediate thought as i was like incredibly hungover was like did i did i lose my v card and it's like i mean i <laughs> no, you. I mean, bro, you're bleeding in bed. You're blacked out. I mean, either you got stabbed or someone touched your butt. I mean, I, 50 50 heads or tails, baby. <laughs> That's not how it works. Did I. Did I get fucked? <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. That's like literally the first thing that I thought when I saw like a blood stain. I was just like, what? And then it was at, at that point that I realized that like I had a wound in my back, in my lower back, not upper back, like lower, like mid lower back to the side. I had like a wound to my right side. Right. And I was like, oh, shoot. Like it actually really hurts there. And like there's like blood on my shirt. Right. So I was just like, what? I do. I do have a very light scar. Actually, the other stabbing incident that I, I can't talk about other? has a bigger scar. This one. Did he ever talk me. about that other so incident? I realized that like there's blood on my shirt and like I was bleeding in my sleep. So like I was just like, bro, oh, even if I have to hear the story from past life, Vesper, send it my way. OK, I guess I should just go to the hospital. And then I went to the hospital. I was I did not go to the ER. I went to uh, what is it? There's like you can go in through the front and then wait. It's not the emergency room. It's like, just like Wait. waiting there, right? But I remember like I sat there and it took like over two hours to like finally see somebody. And it wasn't even a doctor. It was like a, it was like a PA or something like that, right? So I sat there for two hours, like- with Bleeding a, out. With like a knife wound. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm spoiling for you, but like with a wound in my back. And then I finally saw like somebody that was like looking at it and they were like, you've been stabbed. <laughs> And then I was like, no, that's impossible. Like, I would that's remember impossible. that. And then they were like, no, no, it's definitely a stab wound. And I was like, are you sure it's not like, like I fell down while I was drunk yesterday. And then like, I, I like. And landed on know, a knife. Cut myself on like a shard of glass or like, you know, like I stabbed myself with a shard of glass or something like that. Right. And then I remember he told me like, well, that would be a possibility. Yes. If it was a knife shaped shard of glass <laughs> inside of you, but it's not, it's not. And I remember the guy was like, I've, I've seen it. I've seen like stab wounds before. Like this is definitely a stab wound. I was like, oh, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't. There was nothing in there, which means like, yeah. How did you not bleed out? I don't know. That This is where it's like unbelievable, right? The two unbelievable elements are like, one, I don't remember it. And then two, like I didn't die. Like I just like went home and then slept it off. And then like, it was scabbing over like when I woke up. And then like I I survived. Like the I human didn't body is amazing. Dude, how did you know that? <laughs> 19, oh, that fucking cost me one thousand nine hundred, please. By somebody that's not even a doctor that I got stabbed. Wait, 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 you wait, wait, wait. They didn't patch it up. It literally cost me like two thousand two hundred dollars. They were like, yeah. Did they patch it up? Two thousand two hundred dollars, please. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> they didn't even stitch me up, damn it. They put like a sticker on. <laughs> they put like a fucking sticker on, and I was like, are you sure? Like you shouldn't be like stitching that up. And he's like, what, do you want to get stitched? Like, this will do the same thing. And you're not going to have like 
the stitch scars and it's like oh okay they literally put a sticker on me it, it was like a medical sticker it's not a band-aid it was like a something i don't remember what it was they put an iphone sticker on my stab wound <laughs> i don't know what situation led to it but i was at a bar and then i went with one of my roommates but at one point that roommate left and i continued drinking and then i got stabbed but i didn't notice and then i went home and then i went to sleep and then i woke i feel like if you're drunk at the bar someone stabs you you could at least remember like hmm my back hurts a little bit oh let's keep drinking like oh man what the hell that's like the whole story could you imagine being that poor that poor some bitch <laughs> you come up behind like a drunken idiot scholar and you give them the old in out right hey yo <laughs> and then like they don't notice right and you're like should i should i do it again i can tell you immediately right now what type of personality my attacker had right and my attacker is very similar to me i think i am the type of person where Bro, attack if itself. i go into a shop if i go into a shop to buy something even if i know exactly what i want to buy i go into a shop and i'm like hello ready like hi like i'm trying to get the attention of somebody to like help me out right like a shopkeeper right and they don't notice me and they don't respond instead of trying again i will just turn around and then walk out and then find another store to go to that's like similar to that store well damn not because like i'm feeling insulted just more like oh okay i guess you're busy i think the person that stabbed me would probably get along with see me. this is the difference between me and him because Let's say it's the same scenario and I see like the pack of cookies over there and they don't notice me. I will grab the pack of cookies. I will put it on the thing. And then that's when they'll notice because they'll be like, oh, someone moved some cookies. We're and if they don't notice, well, then I pull out my wallet and I put the money down and then I walk out we'll with my cookies. Person, right? We're probably lawful. very similar in personalities where we're like, they stabbed me. And what is that? Is that chaotic, lawful, lawful, evil? I don't know. Like, let me know. Yeah, like this will get a rise out of him. And then like, I didn't respond. And then they're like, oh, okay. All right, I guess you're busy. I'll go, I'll go stab someone else then. Ha <laughs> ha take care, have a good one. And then they just like left. How deep was it? I think it was like a two and a half inch wound, something like that. It like got in there and it was not like a Swiss army knife. It was like an actual knife. How did you not know? That's why like, I'm telling you, where's the doubt? No, nobody would ever believe this story. I should be dead. It's, it sounds like a fake story, but like, I had to pay $2,200 to be told that I had been stabbed. How drunk nice. were you? It was blackout drunk. I don't remember walking back from Bro, the he says I that remember. like it's a normal blackout drunk. Like, bro, does this happen a lot? Remember <laughs> the last thing that I, okay. Does this happen often? I went with my roommate. He, he went with like a new pair of shoes, like boots that he was like very proud of. We were all poor college students and he bought a new pair of like high quality boots, like good stuff, right? And then he went out to like, you know, when you get new shoes, you're like, oh, I want to show people. And then I made a joke about the shoes. Was it my roommate? Did he stab me? Because like, I, I like roasted him for his like new shoes. So I remember, I remember like we went there and then I kind of like teased him about like the shoes. And then like, he laughed, but I could tell he was like a little bit hurt. He was like, ah, oh, like take the wind out of my soul. Like, oh, I feel like a bully now. Right? So I, I, I remember like buying him like a beer, a beer and a shot. And then we, you know, we continued to, we continued to chat and have a good time. And then he left early. And then I stayed there to continue drinking. What else do I remember? This was a bar. This was a bar that had like comic book, like paraphernalia. Like, it was like what else do I remember? Bar. I mean, this was like, this was a long time ago. This was like 15 years ago, right? Damn. It was like a comic book themed bar. And there was like a bunch of like comic, comic book books that are like frame bar? figures that and like cool. action figures and stuff like that. So the last thing that I remember that was, was like, I will give you, I will give you like the best a shot of the best alcohol in the house if you lick like all of these action figures and i did it i gave every single dusty ass like action figure on the wall like a good old lick from top to bottom and i remember everybody thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever seen like the bar was like pretty full there was like 15 to 20 people in there it was like a lot of figures, like action figures. It was like- And you lick them all? Like more than 10. That's disgusting. That is disgusting, bro. I'll do, when I'm drunk enough, I'll do anything for like alcohol. But fuck? like I drank, I, that's, that's the last thing I remember. What I remember reaching the last action figure and then like paying special attention to the dumpy. And people thought that was hilarious. That was like the funniest thing that they'd ever seen because we were all drunk. 
And then Bro, I love it because there's 15 other people who know this story, except from a different perspective. <laughs> it was like, yeah! Everybody was like cheering, right? And then I was like drinking. Bro, I gotta hear this shot. story 15 the times. gave me like a whiskey glass, like full of like good whiskey. And that's the last thing that I remember. And then like, I woke up in bed with a bad hangover. And then I, I got up, I drank two glasses of water, took a piss and then came back to my bed and I saw like a blood stain. And then I was like, did I lose my virginity? And then I was like, wait, no, I got stabbed. And then I went to the to the hospital. <laughs> Sounds like a Florida man. Bro, that, <laughs> that was a, that was a whole recap. What did your roommate say? I actually did tell my roommate. I actually did tell both of my roommates. I came back and I was like, boys, boys. And they were like, I remember they were, they were eating, they were eating sandwiches, right? They were eating sandwiches. And I was like, boys, you'll never believe this. And they were like, what's up V? And I was like, <laughs> what's up V? Got stabbed. And they were like, what? <laughs> this, was, this was within a year of me disappearing and going, going to the bar in the middle of a hurricane. This was like, oh, the hurricane story after that happened. Bro, that's so crazy that I know about the hurricane story. <laughs> I pulled up my shirt and then I showed them like... The you know, I'm just going to go back and rewatch a whole bunch of videos you guys sent. I liked this a long time ago. And I just like, I remember the story of him getting stabbed, but it's like, there's more context that I know about. Because last time I would watch this, I heard this story, I was like, huh, this guy's kind of crazy. And now I know it's Vesper. I'm like, yep. Vesper is crazy. <laughs> the, the sticker, like it's like a big sticker, like, and it's like I don't know how to describe it. It's not a sticker. It's like it's like something it's that they medical, put on there, right? Medical bandage. And then they were like, "Are you shitting me?" And it's like, "Yeah, no." Like the 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 doctor or whatever, they were like a hundred, like with a hundred percent certainty. I'm sure that you got stabbed, and it was not an accident. It was definitely like a knife. This shit. What did my what did it's my like roommate say? Let me think about that. Gauze are tape. you okay? Why are you not still in the hospital? What is wrong with you? Did the bar have cameras? Probably not. It was like pretty, it was like a pretty sketchy bar. He ain't no snitch. He ain't no snitch. True. <laughs> Could you imagine? Cop is like, Johnny Tight Lips. I gotta go. Stab you. Whoa, I gotta whoa, go. Hey, whoa, I gotta go. I gotta whoa. go. Who said anything about getting stabbed? I don't know nothing. Go. I don't know nothing. More like I stabbed your mother last night. Hey, or something hey, like that, right? I, did, yeah. I did tell my professor. I did take. I did take the rest of the week off of class, even though I didn't need to. Because I, like, I was obviously good enough to like walk around and like hang out with my roommates. And I went drinking. <laughs> Not that night, <laughs> but the very next night, the second night after, <laughs> my roommates were going out to the bar and I was just like, I'm going with you. And they were like, are you sure about that? And it's like, yeah, man. <laughs> And good old Vesper. All right, I gotta go do real life stuff, guys. Y'all be safe. I thought I was gonna maybe get more videos in, but I, ooh, that looks like a good story. I'll see you guys on the next one though, bye.